Welcome to How Stuff in My Car Works YouTube channel. We're in the middle of filming a video that shows how to diagnose and repair a rear axle noise on, on half ton Dodge Ram pickups. To be able to remove the differential carrier, there's a special tool required to turn the adjusters to loosen or tighten the adjusters that look like this, uh, located uh, right after the bearing caps, you know, there one is in here, the other one's in here. This special tool, uh, as you turn it, uh, either preloads the bearings or loosens the pressure on the bearing. Plus, these adjusters also allow you to adjust the ring and pinion clearance by either moving the ring closer to the pinion or farther away from the pinion. The tool itself is not easy to find and we found ourselves in the middle of the video uh, to be able to get that tool we're looking two to three days we're in a time crunch so waiting two or three days for a tool is just not going to happen so I found myself uh, having the need to make my own tool so guess what this is going to help you also because in a few minutes you're going to learn how to fabricate your own tool with supplies that you can find at your local hardware store this will save you money and time, and the situation I found myself is going to help you also. After looking all over at the hardware store, how to find the supplies that would make it perfect for me to build a tool to be able to turn the threaded adjusters on this differential, I found my perfect supplies. One of them is this one by half hex bushing. Right there. This bushing fits perfect. See that? Perfect fit. It was like awesome. How much better can it get? So I got two. Okay, one for each end. I have this three feet half inch pipe. Okay, so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna thread obviously one to one end. This will be able to turn my adjusters. Okay. I'm going to thread the other one on the other end to be able to turn. You know, after I insert that into the axle. Now, the correct size to turn it is a 36 millimeter socket. Fits perfect. So you'll be able to use your half inch drive ratchet, and then you'll be able to turn it. Turn your adjuster. You got it there, and then you should be able to turn it with your ratchet. Now, there's a couple other things I'm going to do to make sure that this tool becomes more useful. What I'm going to do is to avoid me from having to center it and going in and out of the adjuster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a couple of small washers right there just to keep it that way I can apply pressure against it and it won't go past it so I'm going to show you where I'm going to weld them plus I'm also going to obviously tighten them up and tack weld them because I'm not going to use this supplies for anything else so I'll just tack weld them here and there and it'll make it strong and it won't come loose then the fitting won't come loose as I'm trying to turn it so Show you in a second. I'm gonna use small nut instead just because the washer is gonna be too thin. The welder's gonna burn through it. So, use this socket to keep it from falling while I'm trying to tack it. Back to the other corner. Set the other nut in place, use the magnet to hold it. So 
go ahead and thread your part that you just made into the pipe. And clamp it on a vise and tighten it with your socket, you know. Like if you clamp it on a vise it'll you know, it'll allow you to tighten it more. And after that, tack it right there and right there to keep it from turning when you're trying to either loosen or tighten your threaded adjusters on your differential. Make sure you have the door open if you're welding galvanized steel like I do or wear a mask, whatever. You're not supposed to breathe that stuff. Or if you can find a pipe that is not galvanized, it's even better. I just couldn't find one. Alright, so this is what that end looks like. I just go ahead and thread the other one to the other side and tack weld it just like the other one. Now we need one of the two move. Okay, time to put our custom made tool to the test. Gently grab it in, don't damage the seal or the bearing. Insert it all the way until you find you feel the adjuster and just kind of play with it. Center it. There it is. See, I can push on it because of the nuts that I welded on. Otherwise, I would be having a hard time trying to turn it. Don't forget to remove the threaded adjuster lock and clip that is bolted to the carry bearing cap. It's right in the center of the cap. Make sure you remove it uh, so you can turn the uh, adjuster. See that? You can turn it and loosen it. You can tighten it. There you go. This tool is definitely worth the effort that it takes to make. Just gently guide it out so you don't damage the bearing or the sealing because you're going to reinstall the seals. So, success! Now you have your own tool. Cost you just a few dollars versus 80 to 100 dollars that it would have cost you to buy one, plus the waiting time that it takes to get one. Stay tuned for part two of. Diagnosing and repairing uh, rear differential noise on Dodge Ram pickup trucks 1500. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every week. Also, don't forget to visit our online store. We have a great selection of accessories for cars, trucks, and SUVs. See you next time.